Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with Marguerite Miller's week nine collage and uh, show and tell of all the things I finished last weekend and then some projects if we have time. So let's say hi and hugs to Bianca, Nora, Alicia, and Christina. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, well, let's see. So what the um, requirements are of this one, a ribbon. And I have this um, tape measure ribbon that I thought I'd use for that. Transportation kind of had me stumped. Um, I found a few things, but then today I did an Etsy share for Lane's Lavish Creations, and she had this adorable tag with an airplane on it. And so I think I want to use that. Um, but I also have, I have this picture of this couple, and they're by a car, so transportation there. I've got some wagons and trains and airplanes from kids books which the airplanes might tie in i'm thinking now so but that one kind of stumped me it took me a while tissue paper i've been wanting to use my tim holtz tissue paper more so i'm super excited about that um food packaging or label i have these two fruit labels from um tsunami rose so was thinking about that a repeating pattern. I grabbed a couple things. I grabbed this paper from Vintage Studio 717 on Etsy. And then this Tim Holtz paper. I think it's Tim Holtz. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm not quite sure which one of those. But I thought they both went with the label. So we'll see what we use on that repeat and then the bonus is something shiny so i pulled out my stickles just in just in case i needed a little shiny so let's just pop right in and get started here's my thought i think i am just going to take this tissue paper see it's brand new i've never even used it gosh i just one of those things I ha just don't think about, and I love it. I don't know why I haven't haven't used it, but anyway, let's see. So what I'm thinking of doing is covering the pages, covering where I want to cover completely. You know what else I forgot to do was uh, do a little bit of a... I've been going around my book with distressing just because you know the white I've had a lot of advice about not covering the pages um I I and you know and that's fine if that's what you want to do but I don't want to have this shiny page if these were matte I'd feel differently so Marguerite Miller watches this maybe she'll take that into consideration for next year or something I don't know um, but yeah with the shiny pages I am a no thank you on that so so I cover my pages first that's just what I do but you know thank you for all of the advice okay so we are gonna cut this right about here um, yeah, so anyways, I, I don't know why that bothers people, but I am just going to cover the pages. It's just what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to then do two more this size. Oh, this is such a cool tissue paper. I'm so glad that that was one of the prompts. I love it. Oops. Oh well. That's okay. Whoopsie. Um. And then this little part. Oh. 
I can do right after the 45s. Love all these numbers. That's really cool. Not that I probably am going to... I mean, this is just going to be the base and then the, everything else will be on top. So I realize that it will be mostly covered, but it will... First of all, it will be there. So that prompt is taken care of. But also, so what I'm going to do is just glue stick my pages. Oh, another question I get a lot is about my glue sticks. Um, does, does it come unstuck? And all I can tell you is I have glue books that I did, oh gosh, it's got to be three, four years ago now, and it's still stuck. But as you see, I do, I do apply it liberally. So I, I don't know what to tell you, but mine does not come unstuck. <laughs> and uh, and I know other people have problems with that because I have just heard that on other videos and, and stuff. So so yeah, I I hear you, but I just don't seem to have that don't seem to have that problem. Okay, we're gonna go right to the top of the planner right here. So anyway, but um, I think the biggest mistake is not using enough. It even says on the on the um, tube to use two uh, two layers or however you would say that. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Okay. So we'll just, okay, I'm going to just tear that right about here. Oops. About being the operative word there. So I saw that Tim Holtz did a new ideology, new products video. I didn't watch the whole thing, watch some of it, but they always come up with cool stuff, don't they? Oops. So, yeah. particularly love that little number right there. Get that down better. There we go. Okay. I um in between weeks I've been laying my big dictionary on this and it's really helped flatten out the papers from, you know, cuz it gets a little It gets a little warpy with just, you know, having the glue at any given time on one side. So it does get a little warpy. Okay. Didn't quite get that far enough to the bottom. Okay. Okay, now I have my surface I can work on. So let's play around with what we've got and placement and stuff. So I did like him right there, I did. I could put him on as a um, tuck. And put that behind it. I could do that. Yeah, that takes up a lot of that. So maybe I'll do that. 
like that and then and then we need our patterned papers see I feel like this one goes better but it's real heavy because okay I have an idea Let's see I need a pencil just to mark this. I think what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this and then I think I'm going to do like a sort of a border punch sort of thing. Okay, that'll be a cute tag <laughs> for another project. Okay, so we'll need that again in a minute. Let's see, what would I like to do? Let's do... Sorry, knocking things over. Let's do this one because then you'll be able to see kind of in between the bits. Okay. move things out of the way a bit here okay let us do this so we're just gonna punch along All right, set that aside, get all my crumbs off here. Of course, they're going to be all full of electricity, so not want to get off of my table. Okay, so I have a little bit of a bit left there, but that's okay. So my thought was to kind of just put that along the edge. Okay, let's cut that right about there. Okay, well there's the repeating pattern. So, <clears throat> but I think I still might like to bring in the blue. Okay, you're gonna be there, mister. This is gonna be along the edge here. I'm thinking this will be down here. I think I might like a bit of a tear. Across here. Might that be too big? Um, I'm a, I'm a thinking. I'm a gluing and a thinking. Really don't want that up there. I like that better. And what if we had just a bit right there 
and was thinking about this little plane up there. I like that little transportation theme. I think that's fun. Um, I think I'm gonna tear out this little plane too. A little closer to it here. I was thinking of putting that right there. Okay. Oh, I still have this, so that's good. Could put that. Okay. Do I want that as a tuck or do I want to just put it down? I think I'll just put it down. And I'm going to have to work with this a little bit. I don't know. This page is kind of stumping me. That's nice, isn't it? Kind of like it over that. Okay, I like that better. This little spot is bugging me. Um, what do I have with my little other people? The train is super cute. Won't know till we try. I can always use it in something else if it. to keep the doggy sorry do that off on the side where you can't see I feel like I'm really quiet today too what is that all about I think it's that I'm trying to figure this out and it's not it's not coming easily. Okay, what if I got rid of that? What if that like that and it's kind of at an angle? I think this piece is bugging me.
then what if I put like a definition or something there? Okay, I think I like that. All right, let's get to glue in here. I'm gonna use art glitter glue because this is on cardstock. I'm gonna need to refill my bottle of art glitter glue. It's, it's getting down there. Okay. Yeah, I kind of had this plan for these children's books and then I got this tag and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. And I thought I could keep it for myself instead of putting it in a journal. <laughs> there. Okay. And then we're just going to lay this down. Yes, this is from Elaine at Lane's lavish creations and they are you will have already seen the Etsy share with the amazing prayer journal that she sent me just blown away okay Maybe it's, maybe it's a matter of inking. That could be. Okay. I need a new sponge on my inker too. I forgot to do that before I started the video. Have to do that afterward. Cause it's, yeah, and then I'm just gonna put that little plane there to kinda tie in the other page a little bit. Okay, there's that side. Doesn't want to stick very much. He's very thick, so with all of his layering on him, but oh my gosh, I love him so much. Okay, let me just put this in here for a second while I, ouch. The pen. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, my ink has worked so much better since I stuck my pin dangle in through my knitting needle cap, which I got at Hobby Lobby in the knitting department and then do it that way. It's it's just been so much better. Gosh, these book pages are pretty fragile. An old one. Old little Dawn and Nancy. It's not Dick and Jane. It's Dawn and Nancy. Yep. And the dog's name is Mac. So you can see the dog's bottom end coming out of the train. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So that's going to go there. Okay. Now we can. Let's just glue stick these on there.
Oh, I forgot I needed to tear off the end of that one. A little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit of the black showing. Okay. Some of these I feel like I just... You know, don't have an idea. Just pulled off hot part of my blue book page. It's not good. That one's done for. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to want this over the top, so I think I'll put this down. A little tricky on the lattice. And I think I'll be okay without those little um, bumps, <laughs> those little curved pieces, because I'm going to put this there. That there. So I need to get this down first, which I think we can just use um, we'll just use the art glitter glue rather than Fabri-Tac, I think. Okay. Right, that way or this way. I think I'll go this way. Okay, so there's the ribbon. And then this and then this. And then I'm going to figure out something for right there. Pretty number right there that I really liked. I just about covered it up. Oh well. Okay, and you're gonna just be flying into the picture. Okay, and then I want something there. I'm not sure exactly what. Um, I'm gonna grab a little tin of things. Those are nature. Memories are life's treasures. Oh, I love that there. Yep, that's it. Then, okay. There's that. Okay, there it is. There's number nine. Just kind of a fun one. Had some, oh, 
accept that. Wait one moment. We need, we need some shine, some stickles for the shine. Okay, I'm going to put some on this part of the train. Okay, the shine there. And then I think I might put three dots right there. And I think I might fill in the hole. Okay, there's the shine. Alrighty, we're gonna need to leave this open to dry, aren't we? So that was fun. Oh good, we have a half hour, so that's I, I felt like time was really going. But there is there is our week nine. I'm very happy with it in the end. I wasn't sure about the whole transportation situation. <laughs> we ended up not using this, but we used everything else. Not using this. Okay. So I'm just going to take a quick second, pick up this stuff, some of this stuff, and just put it over aside so that we can do the next part, which is I want to show you what I was up to this weekend. We've gotten in quite a nice little routine of, um, of uh, just um, doing our Marguerite Miller and me being able to kind of um, debrief the weekend. <laughs> okay, we're all set now for whatever comes next. Okay, so let's just move this where I can just lay it flat, which is over here. Okay, all right. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so what I did this weekend First of all, oh, first of all, let's do this first of all. First of all, I did my Ann Brooke tag. And um, I don't know why I'm working in these colors. These are not my normal go-to colors, but I just have been finding the right fabrics and whatever. I've got a little um, Rachel at Roxy Creations coffee dyed paper writing on the back. And then... The strips of fabric was um, was the thing. I have a brown fabric under the lace and put the French knots on there to kind of bring that out. I've got a little button in the middle of the flower. So a little trim at the top. So anyway, it, it turned out just fine. So that was, I think, her week nine too. I guess we are on week nine. I don't know. Anyway... In that same realm, I finished my my um, slow stitch cover. So video, I mean uh, journal, will be coming at some point. So um, what I did is I took a um, feed sack fabric, covered an envelope with it, and I just glued that to the inside to give it some stability. So... There is, there is my cover. I added some French knots because I was using up the, the gold <laughs> that I used on the other one. Um, over here, lots of stitch, just stitching. I have a little kind of a flower garden in the corner there. And um, all the, all these are just kind of blanket stitched on. So... That's my little, that's my, it's taken me over a month, more than that, I think, to do this. So. <laughs> okay, then I worked on my idea book and got caught up a little bit. So I'll show you what I did. Well, first of all, these um, little, these little tags, which are super fun because they have little flippy out pockets like so. And so this one's going to go in my idea journal. This was an idea I saw from saw on scrapbooking with ME, capital ME. 
um, scrapbooking with me. And I loved it. I thought it was a great idea. So I made three because why would I just make one? So this was done on one of my Patreon um, videos. But yeah, so here are here are each of the need to get that in the pocket, not in between. So this one and then this one I used my um, my own digitals for the pockets and um, that's that one. So really fun. I had a good time with those. And um, so these two will kind of go in my stash for future journals. Let's see. And um, this was a jewel design digital and this one was from dreams etc so i'm going to put this one in my idea book these two are going to go over in my ephemera pile so that i have them for later so i need to put this in um with the scrapbooking for me at some point but let me show you what how i caught up so Sue at Paper Inspirations made this cute. Once again, this is her um, using a 12 by 12 sheet up. So she did this um, little flip up. You can write in there, tuck this under, under the flap. And then there's three tags in there. And it's just, it's just one of these pockets. This is, I've done this with book page many a time, but I never thought to do it with a piece of scrapbook paper. So um, I will link Sue's channel and then also Corey's because I, I caught, caught up with Corey too. So that was that idea. So that's in Sue's, Sue's uh, area of the book back here. Okay, so let's just get that reattached if I can. Okay, so that's reattached. Okay, and then with Corey, let's see, this was, this was one of the ideas. I think this was this was episode 23, I do believe. Just a little pocket, little card, and then it's got a pocket up here. And this was actually my favorite, my favorite one of the three that we made. I don't know, maybe there's another page one that I'll show you that's really cool too. Okay, so there's that one. This one I think is episode 22. And it is similar in that, see, there's, it's a book with pockets and then, but then on the back of it, you have a big pocket. So that was, that was cool. And she put Velcro, thin Velcro to hold this closed. I don't have any Velcro, so I'll just have to figure that out. I can always put, you know, a piece of ephemera and just glue it at the bottom and tuck the flap in. That's what I usually do. So that, and then this one goes on the side of a page, and it was so sweet of her. She used my, um, she used my digitals for it, so that was really sweet. So you kind of have a blank page here. You could put a pocket on. This side is a pocket for a tag. This is where I wrote my instructions, and then you flip open. And there's a pocket up here, and then there's a pocket down here, an under tuck type of pocket. And then it goes over the page, and you have your pocket here. So, yeah, so I was very honored. Thank you, Corey, for using my digitals for that one. That was really cool. So that's a fun one, and it, it takes three digitals printed on both sides. So, but... Like I say, I'll link Corey and Sue's channel here. And um, and so, and then I can, I can link 
her channel too. She doesn't need my help. She's got a gazillion subscribers. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I wanted to put this in, but I have to acknowledge where it came from. Let's see. Maybe I, I'll have more coins. Oh, there's a Joey Defee. So maybe I'll just, Maybe I'll just stick it right here with a little clippy. And then I have my, um, I think I can write on this and it'll show, I think. Where's my pan? Scrapbooking with M-E, it was called. I think her name might be Mary Ellen. I'm not sure though. M E. Okay. She's kind of a kick in the pants to listen to. I love her southern accent. So, but like I say, I just, she came up in my recommendeds and uh, found her that way. Don't know her or anything, but she's got a lot of great ideas for sure. Okay. So let's just put that right there and th that will be that one okay I'm all caught up on my idea book look at me okay so let's for the rest of the time that we have which is just about 20 minutes probably about right let's make another one of those because I want to make one with this um Okay, this is the one that I really, that I, that I liked and is kind of the easiest one that Corey did. So I thought it would be good for this. Okay, so I have a piece of coffee dyed cardstock here. I need um, an eight and a half by seven piece of paper. So we have to cut this at seven. I mean, you can make these any size, but... This, I liked this size. Okay, and then just, I kind of thought this might go well with my bee journals and I'm gonna make an yet another bee journal, maybe not right away, but I know I have digitals coming from one of my peeps that, um, that are B and so I'll be making another, uh, I'll be B, B making another one. Okay, so I'm gonna score this at a half. And then, so at three and a half, which would be halfway, right? Cause I have, let's see. So this'll be seven like this. Oops, we went that way. Well, good Lord, Gail, you're making a mess of this. Okay. And then, then three and a half should be in half, right? It's more than one way to skin a cat. Nope, four. Why is that, that four's in half? Did I do that the wrong way? No, this is eight, eight and a half this way, seven this way, sorry, eight and a half. So I took the half off, so yes, it would be at four. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> oh goodness. What did I say about this being easy? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is the other one. That's why I have in my head it's the, the one and it's another. Okay, so we're gonna score an inch and a half at the top too. So this'll be the top, we'll call this the top. Jeez. 
Corey's a great teacher. Just go over her channel. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, seven, right? It's seven this way. It's eight and a half this way. So, first thing you do on the eight and a, eight and a half side is do a half an inch. Then in the middle, that makes four. Then on the top, one and a half inches down. Then we're going to take... And this little bitty piece here, I'm going to just do this at an angle, but then we're going to cut down that way, right? Then over here, we are going to cut the left um, the left side rectangle off. La, 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 la. Okay, so I have that the wrong way. Do I have that the wrong way? <laughs> Watch, I gotta get the example out, guys. I'm having a moment. Oh my goodness, which is why you have an idea book. <laughs> it's because. Otherwise, you can't remember how they did it. Okay. So, yes, this is going to be the back. Yes, so this is going to fold down this way. This is the back. This will be the flap, like this. Goodness sakes. Okay, I'm going to round this. And just do a little inking, too. I so appreciate though. I love the love the uh, videos that they're they're doing on the pockets and things. I feel like I've been wanting for a long time to get back to my making ephemera series. I do have a whole playlist of them that I did earlier, but gosh, I've just felt like I just have so much to do. So much to do. So that had the gusset on the other side, but it doesn't matter. Does it? It's just going to have that on the other side. Just making it backwards. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> because you know how I am. Okay, just cut those off a little bit. That's all right. We can do it backwards. It'll be just fine. Just fine. Okay, so then this is a Mrs. or no, this is Love Junk Journals, uh, her patchwork kit. And that's, I decided it was really B-ish colors. So I thought we should go ahead and do that. Okay, so the back pocket is going to be just short of five and a half by four and a half inches because um, just, just so it fits right. Okay, so four, just short of four. So I'm just doing one tick mark short of four is all I'm doing uh, by five and a half and I found that I needed to go like five and a quarter worked better. Okay, so this is going to be our back pocket like, like this. Here's my little cheat sheet. Okay, so this is going to go on here like this. And by doing it five and a quarter, there's a little more room here, so I liked that better. Okay, I'm just going to do my little thumb hole. I'm 
I'm excited because I think our video tomorrow is going to be decorating the bee journals. So I'll be able to kind of see how far I get with what I have and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see if I put that down there. Good stuff. That's okay. All right, so I am just going to put a little hard glitter glue around all these edges. Super cute pocket. And then I am going to put that down here. Okay, so that's that side. Then you can do whatever you want, like on this page, but um, this page, let's see, we are, once again, five and a quarter. So, I think I'm going to do this five and a quarter by four as well. So I'm just going to do four with the four. And then, I mean, not five and a quarter. What am I saying? I need this to be what? I need it to be five and a half because I don't need it to be shorter this time. Okay, so five and a half. Okay. Then I am going to score this at two. So it's right down the middle. At two. Okay. Then we are going to fold this in half. I don't have my other bone folder out. Okay, and then I'm just going to give this a snip. And this will go right around this page, like so. And then you've got a pocket here and a pocket here. So we're going to just distress it and then um, we'll only put glue on the top and the bottom. I may make this one a lot. I really like this pocket. The other thing you actually could do is you could actually put it in the signature. Actually, same with, you know, that could be part of the signature and have this be on one side and this be on the other. Could do that too, right? Okay, so top and bottom is what we need to do here. Like that. Ow. <laughs> oh gosh, I'll be bleeding on my piece again. Get that lined up and fold it over. And then you've got those two pockets. And then in here, I mean, you could leave that all for journaling or something, but I've got, got this piece that is pretty much the perfect size for a pocket. Yeah, that fits perfect. That was left over from doing the pocket on the other side. So I'm just going to do a pocket. Isn't that cute? That's such a cute pocket. Okay. And then we might, I'll see where we are time-wise. Maybe we have time to decorate it a little bit.
This would be super cute though, just tucked in a tucked in a tuck or something too. Okay. There's that one. So I did it the exact opposite. <laughs> um with my my little envelope on the other side. See, I did it just the exact opposite because I'm a wackadoodle. Okay. Love that, Corey. Thank you. Oh, gosh, I've got a couple of minutes. Let's just look super quick if I can find my... Where's my B ephemera? Oh, I know. It's behind me. I do believe. Yes, it is. Okay. Because I was thinking some of these small pieces might be just perfect on here. Or bigger pieces. That could be really cute there. Um... Oh, look at this. These are so great. I love these stamps. Like this one right there. I don't think I have time to do this, guys, but um, I'll either finish it before next video or we'll finish it on next video. Finish decorating it and then get to going because because I got other things I need to do I need to finish my bee journals but they were a little slower because I had to make a lot of the ephemera and I don't know that I'm done making ephemera because I'm gonna need tags and journal cards and such so yeah oh yeah right that's so cute Okay, we're going with that there. I'll get an idea and get it cut out and stuff at least before I do the next video, which is going to be in about going to be in about 2 seconds here. Okay, let's put this down right there okay so that's all the new ideas marguerite miller all that uh so we are set thank you so much for crafting with me today and we'll just see you in the next video have a grateful day bye everyone